Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, where we are here in the Huntsman's Copse. And actually, I'm going to sit back down because I can burn this. Oh, I have to do it in the far fire in Majula. Well, I'll hold off on that for now, even though it would make life easier. Because, yeah, I've got stuff to do. Ooh, dark spear. Whoa. Hello. Wasn't expecting you. Would have been nice if you had announced your arrival. So, interestingly enough, this is actually the first place I was ever invaded when playing through uh, the original version of this game. I uh, was coming through here and got invaded and I noticed that well, I didn't notice. I decided to sit on the bridge ahead of here because it had a nice view of everywhere and decided to wait to see who had invaded me and, you know, try and make sure they couldn't get the drop on me. So I just sit there and I'm looking around trying to find whoever invaded me. I couldn't see him. And, you know, after a while, I was wondering, you know, hey, what's up? Where's the person who invaded me? And then, looking out this way over the bridge, I see an urn come sliding through the forest. I see you down there, pal. Yeah, an urn came sliding through the forest, and as I was wondering, you know, hey, what's up with that? I'm sure that's the guy who invaded me. He disguised himself as an urn somehow. So, I do what anyone would do, and I start whipping out the uh, lightning spears I've got. The I think it was the great lightning spears. And I dispatch him in fairly short order. He dropped the disguise after I started shooting him. And, yeah. So, uh, the next day, I had gone to classes and was talking to a friend about this thing that happened. And then he's like, wait a minute, I think that was me. And, you know, it's, he was able to match his thought process and what happened. And yeah, sure enough, I had been invaded by one of my friends. And that was actually pretty interesting. So, are you guys going to get up at any time? Ever? Like, maybe once I cross the bridge? Or are you just hanging on for no real reason? Oh, that's right. More moths. So, uh... I don't trust these guys. And because of my fundamental lack of trust, I'm going to shoot him in the head. And also, this guy, I want his torch. And then I'm going to shoot the other guy in the head as well, even though I really don't have to shoot him in the head. It's just a nice spot to aim for. Plus, all my years of Resident Evil playing have trained me that zombie-like things are meant to be shot in the head. Yeah, you think I wouldn't be able to tell that there was a fatty ahead? Kinda already fought him. Right, right. Need to remember, those things exist. Okay. I think I'll just go ahead and let the poison run its course and then use a life gem or something. Or maybe I'll use a flask right now, because that actually ticks away faster than I had remembered. Let's just get rid of all the moths. Be there any others? Not that I can see from here and recognize as moths. Up oh, there's one. Thankfully, they only take one shot. Would be a little unpleasant if they took more. So, I know if I go this way, I'm going to have to fight some enemies. But, not seeing any more moths, so. 
I'm not going to cross just yet. Because that'll lead up to there where there's a boss hiding. And I don't feel like fighting it at the moment. So instead, I'm just going to continue along this path. Making sure that I pause when I hear any noises that I don't enjoy. Oh, hello. So that little guy's trying to lead me into a trap. I'm not falling for it. Hello. I hear noises. Is it you guys? Are you okay? You're not going to be mean to me, are you? Yeah, you guys look okay. I'll leave you be. Okay. Anything over here? What's this? Well then. So, there's another one of them fatties. Excellent. I do so enjoy killing them with little effort. They actually caused me a lot of problems back when I was using greatswords. Because, uh, they swung about as fast as I did. Dark Spirit Forlorn. I kind of... Oh, hi. Okay, you are acting player-esque. Excuse me, just grabbing this. So he's definitely going to be winning if we're going blow for blow here. And I gotta say, him winning is not what I want. Well, it happened. I don't like being invaded. I really don't. You could ask, why don't I then play offline, but... Then I wouldn't get all the fun messages. So really, there's there's no way to win here. All right, I know this guy's gonna drop down. So I'm not falling for that twice. Ooh. I do enjoy flame butterflies. Being able to light the torch whenever and wherever I want is handy. So, where's the guy up there? Sounds like he just dropped down. Or not. Where's the guy who dropped down from up there earlier? It always causes concerns for me when enemies who I had to face once don't show up the second time. Always makes me wonder if they're going to show up like in the near future or after a while or when I'm dealing with something when I would really rather not be dealing with them. I'm gonna get rid of this guy while we wait. Really? There. And then this guy as well, just to get him out of the way. And then maybe we can even kill that moth. We can. And how about... There was a moth over here, wasn't there? Looks like we don't have time for that. You know what? 
since you are in a very weird position there, guy. Since these things don't seem to want to pull themselves, let's try a good old shot to the face. Yeah, I think it was just that one guy. I certainly hope it wasn't one of his friends, because I know there are a bunch of guys like that over there. Oh, yep. Well, kind of. You want to hop down? All right. Glad to make your acquaintance. You don't have any other friends up there, do you? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Continuing on. Okay. Yep, there was a moth over here. So, let's rid ourselves of it. And I'm pretty sure there was one more up higher. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm misremembering. This is always possible. Hey, you want to give me your torch? Eh, if you don't, that's fine too. And there's that guy trying to lead us into a trap yet again. Not knowing that it won't work. Alright, let's sneak up behind this fella. I do like that he just sits here absorbed in his own world. Butchering this corpse until we uh, deal with him. I would much rather have him than a proactive one. Okay, so Forlorn is an NPC. And now we know he's just an NPC who acts player-ish. Kind of. Alright, that's a good start. Okay, we need to keep some stamina for rolling. And since he's a player, I have no qualm, or an NPC rather, I have no qualms about healing while fighting him. If it were a player, then I would feel a bit worse for using Estus flasks. But NPC phantoms, yeah, I don't mind. And there we go. There's one less phantom in the world. And he even had an effigy for me. Okay, so now let us carefully, carefully head this way. Because I know that behind several of these trees are some people who want me dead. And maybe in some of these huts as well. Okay, where are they? What's the dealio? Where are your friends, buddy? Are you all alone and just afraid? I think he is just afraid and alone. And yeah, we can hop down there. Alright, before we lower this, because uh, lowering it is what needs to happen. Oh, hello. Are you the only friends he had? Nope, oh, there's also a guy up there. Who I'm sure would drop onto my head as soon as I got in there. So instead of having him do that, we'll just do this. Be a little proactive. Okay. Now we'll take a look in here. Okay, so this switch, I think, controls the bridge. And we'll hit it in due time. Not just yet, though. 
Because as soon as that bridge is down, things can come across it that aren't us. Also, hi. He would have tried to get the drop on us if we got in here as well. Oh, hi. Is this what they meant by tough enemy ahead? Because really, they're not too tough if they're only one of them. Later on, when you get to fight three at a time, then it's tough. But for now, it's easy. That That's cute. They're calling the guy who had Soul Spear a caster. Try short-range battle. Just, you know, walk up to him, steal his stuff, I guess. All right, what's in the chest? Ooh, more Sublime Bone Dust. We can go to plus two now. And I do like that idea. Oh. Maybe that guy, like, fell from somewhere. Who knows? I don't. Hey, lonely guy. This <laughs> is... He's actually kind of cute. Yeah, he's just afraid. I won't kill him. And I don't expect this guy will get up. And yes, we did in fact lower the bridge with that. So, what's this? Praise the sun. Oh, hello! Where'd you come from? And why? Okay. Maybe he was on top of the bridge and started moving when I started lowering it. Anywhere ahead? What? Okay. So, if we look around here, we're just uh, checking our surroundings, making sure no one can sneak up on us or anything. There's a bonfire in there, but we can't get to it. At least, not yet. Nothing coming across there. That's good. Where does this lead? Okay, we can light that. Ooh, it's a curse jar. I don't like curse jars. I also don't like skeletons. Ooh, especially not ones that revive infinitely until you kill their necromancers. So, fatty ahead. What kind of fatty? By fatty, did they just mean... important target? Okay, we've got skeletons behind us, we've got skeletons in front of us. We've got still more skeletons behind us. And the necromancer is... still alive. Not a great turn of events, but I don't think the skeletons will follow us outside here. Yeah, they don't look like they will. Because if they were going to, they would have already. Yeah. Thanks for killing the curse jar. I guess you are kind of a fatty. Alright, and now that he is dead, these guys are killable. For reals. Yes, because that backstab was entirely necessary. I didn't want to just, you know, stab him once. And there we go. Curse Jar gone. What's this? Shortcut ahead. Where? No, there's not. You lied to me. All right, let's continue on. Okay, try detour, huh? 
Yeah, I don't think Mr. Skeleton here is gonna activate the switch. He's just gonna look at us and laugh. Such a jerk. Oh, you, you, you thinking about it? No, he's not thinking about it. He's a skeleton. Where would he even keep his brain? Now, part of me wants to light this just because it's here. But I don't really see what help it would be. At all. Oh. This is a different path. Oh. And I guess that behind was a warning about that guy who was going to sneak up. Must have been. Okay. Let's head on back out so that we can take the other path. Because I like going down both paths. Yeah, this isn't quite the type of bonfire we can use, though. Doesn't look like anyone wants to hop up from the sides of the bridge. That's good. I always appreciate having fewer adversaries. And now for this thin attack. Ah, yes. There are guys shooting poison arrows. So we're supposed to pay attention to him, but he's got a friend here. Any other friends? Doesn't look like it. There we go. Try attacking and then treasure. Attacking what? Uh, this will lead us to the key that will unlock the bond. Oh, dark spirit. That's new. If there is indeed a dark spirit up here. Yeah. Or maybe it's not new. That name is familiar. Alright, off to a decent start. Doing better still. And there we go. Simple enough. Yeah, I think they're always going to, uh, they're always going to roll after you first backstab them. So if you use that to your advantage, bug. Ah, bug. So yeah, using the fact that they'll always roll following a, uh, backstab certainly helps lets you uh, not have to worry so much well I would try ranged battle but he just dropped oh oh it's a necromancer that's not get hit by his magic. Okay, I guess we can get hit by some of his magic. I'll use Nestus. We're running low on life gems anyway. Now, I used to be... Oh, look who's decided to join us. Used to be there would be a crystal lizard up here. I don't know whether or not that's still the case. I haven't really been paying much attention to whether or not they exist in places thus far. I might have missed like five already. But the good news is... Unt Wait, who dropped something there? Until you actually... Uh, 
Until you kill the crystal lizards, they'll come back every time you sit at a bonfire, so it's not like I've lost my chance. Anyway, I'm going to get back up here and do the little thing that requires falling to appropriate platforms. And there's no reason to try and jump across to that. I mean, sure, it's a platform that is jumpable too, if that is any indication, but there's no reason to do so. So I won't. Instead, I will take a close look down here and then carefully, carefully, carefully drop. Got that from the uh, moth. Got that from the corpse. Sniper spot or liar. What would we be sniping? I don't know what we would be sniping. Take another drink. Alright, and now you should be the only thing left in here. Well, other than these passive guys. But they won't do anything to us if we don't do anything to them. And sure, we could get a few souls from them, but what would be the point? That would be mean... Why, we'd be no different from hollows in that case. Okay. Let us continue on. I heard a noise. From whence? I guess... I guess there is nothing that would have created the noise. So let's continue on, taking careful stock of our surroundings. Okay, doesn't look like there's anywhere for them to come from behind us or above us. Yeah, I think that dark spirit that we just killed off used to spawn around here as opposed to up there. Because up there, there used to be just a bunch of rogues. And we appear unable to pass this. That's okay, because we can go behind the waterfall. And that is a boss that is not too terribly difficult, but I don't want to fight it when I've got all these souls. So instead I'm going to go through here and hopefully, well not hopefully, definitely I'll be able to open up that other path. And thanks to having sniped that necromancer, we don't have to worry about these guys respawning. Brown. No wonder the skull is so alluring. Liar ahead? Well, no, it's not revenge, because I already killed him. The liar is try jumping. Try jumping is usually a liar. Yeah, I'll try jumping for that after I've... Ooh, a crystal lizard. That I don't appear able to hit with this weapon. Yep. <laughs> this is not a crystal lizard hitting weapon. So yeah, now that this is open, I've got a shortcut on back to the bonfire. Which, honestly, I should make use of, or at least light, before I attempt this jump. So, I will do that. But first, I'm gonna light these torches, because now I don't have to backtrack to any bonfires to do so. Nor do I have to use my, uh, flame butterflies. Now I've got no reason not to light them. Oh, look who's here. It's our scaredy little friend. I feel like he's going to betray me at some point. 
But no, he's just running away. I wonder if killing him would do anything. Would it cause anything to spawn or to attack? Oh. Uh, let's just light this first. Hey, buddy, how's it going? You having fun with your two pals here? Who are you? I'm a guy. I thought you'd have bastard for a moment. Well, I'm not. You've set me free. Now I can find him. Great. The cheeky prick. He won't know what hit him. Won't he? I am Crater of Mirror. I travel from land to land to hone my blade. Mm-hmm. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it would suit me perfectly. Well, did it? I joined forces with a man on the way. But he was no more than a backstabbing knife. Mm, I know the type. He took the first chance he had to try and off me. Yeah. I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. Oops. I can't believe that I was so dense. Thank the stars that you came along. Yeah. You be careful of him. Paint, I think he said. Yeah, we're acquainted. He wears this rather unusual ring. You know it when you see it. Mm-hmm. I've seen his type before. He kills entirely for the pleasure of it. And for the loot. I'm sure I won't be his last victim. The man's better off dead. Tell me how. Mm-hmm. He's a slick talker. So don't let him fool ya. Don't worry, I haven't. Pate. The man with a strange ring. Watch out for the slimy rat. You bet. And don't you believe a word he says. I'll find the common for bed and put an end to his roguery. <laughs> Alright. Neat. Pate. And I'll find... Alright. So, it would ordinarily be time to end the episode, because we've got a bonfire right there and it's time, but... Before we do, I want to make that jump for the item... Because we're going to have to sit at the bonfire very soon anyway, and I don't want to have to fight through everything again just to get back to it. So basically I'm going to try and get the item and then I'll either die and be back at the bonfire with nothing to lose, or I will succeed and then I'll go back to the bonfire. So, let's give it a shot. Yay, we made it just fine. Got some la lacerating arrows. And we're back. Excellent. I love not losing anything for making daring jumps. Feels like I successfully fought the control scheme. Because neither method of jumping is particularly good. The uh, double tap circle method I find to be more accurate in terms of being able to aim but then there's the click the control stick method which lets you jump more freely when you want but I always feel like I'm gonna slightly tweak my aim while I do so so I don't like that method because I'd rather feel like I can aim myself than like I can jump when I need to, because... I mean, at least if you can aim yourself, you're going where you want to go. Really, neither method is ideal. Because if you could feel like you could do it exactly when you wanted, and that you would go where you wanted to go, that's what you want. But this game doesn't give you that. What it does give us is the end of this episode, so join us next time when we, uh, I guess we'll take a trip back to Majula to get rid of a bunch of our souls and whatnot, and then we'll go fight the boss through the fog gate. And maybe we'll kill that crystal lizard that we found. Who knows? But I will see you then, friends.